In the bustling city, Emily, a young woman, finds a wallet lying on the sidewalk. Surprised, she bends down to pick it up, wondering who it belongs to and what she should do next. Oh, what's this? A lost wallet? I wonder if someone dropped it by accident. I should check inside to see if there's any identification or contact information to return it to the owner. Let's see what's inside. Maybe there's a name or phone number. If I find any identification, I can return the wallet to its owner and help them out. Wow, there's a lot of cash and credit cards in here. It must belong to someone important. I need to make sure to return it to them as soon as possible. I could use this money, but it wouldn't be right. It's not mine, and someone must be worried sick about losing it. I need to do the right thing, but it's not mine. What should I do? I know I shouldn't keep it, but returning it might not be easy either. I know what's right. Even though it's tempting to keep it, returning the wallet to its owner is the right thing to do. Let's find out who this belongs to. Maybe there's some identification or a phone number inside that can help us return it. Ah, there's a phone number, I'll call it. Hello, is this Sarah? I found your wallet. I'll meet you at the cafe. It's a safe place where we can talk and I can return your wallet to you. Here's your wallet, Sarah. I found it on the street. Thank you so much, Emily. I was worried sick. I'm glad I returned it. It feels good to do the right thing. Emily's act of honesty creates a ripple effect, inspiring others to do the same. Today, a young woman's honesty made headlines. We commend Emily for her integrity and kindness. I never expected this. I just did what I felt was right. It feels good to help someone in need. Through her decision to return the wallet, Emily learns valuable lessons about honesty, integrity, and the power of kindness. And so in a world where honesty can be rare, Emily's actions remind us all of the importance of doing what's right, no matter the circumstance.